You're gonna do it. I wanted to preamble this. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I forgot to do it. Do it again. That's my favorite throw in the game. It's staggeringly good. It is so realistically Looney Tunes. The hat flying away and catching it is the best thing in the world. <laughs> the, the watching Kano freak out is that he has dynamite in his hand is amazing. He could have just dropped it. He could have thrown it, but right. no. What do you do? In the heat of battle, it's tough. That's a scramble. <laughs> That's so good. All right, do that. Do that. The explosion one more. I want to see the hat. Let's, let's the hat's so good. It's the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. When I saw that throw, I was like, okay, I love this game. Like yeah. that throw. It's so personality. Yep. People personality. One of the things with Aaron Black is. We wanted to keep just a couple of his core moves, but then reanimate and kind of redo everything, but make him kind of feel like you won't be completely lost, like he's just a totally new character, but a fresh coat of paint. So let's start with, you remember the last game, his 2-1 string, all those big punches where he kind of punched you like a hundred times? It was like his main string. We didn't bring that back exactly, but he does have a 2-1 mash string. It's pretty good. It ends in an overhead, which means at any time, he can actually do a slide. I just totally messed that up. <laughs> there you go. And they don't know if the low is going to come. Another example of that would be he has a new string back two where he bops, you, yeah, he bops you on the head of this pistol. Or he could actually, again, go into the slide. The slide is dangerous. Yeah, it's it's a unsafe 50-50, but it can come at any time, so it's pretty scary. Yep. He has this, this is probably his best, like, mid-range move, like, from this range. Like, I would say his range is not the best in the game, but from here, he has this, which... I love the axe handle there. Yeah, it's such a cowboy thing to do. Like, it's very... I like that it's not, like, martial arts. Like, he's not doing, like, kung fu. He's right. just kind of walloping. You wouldn't expect him to do kung fu. Right, it would be weird if he was doing kung fu. All right, what do we got? Let's go through it. And then he has a bunch of strings involving his oh, pistols awesome. that are just absolutely cool. Man, it's it just reminds me of like like old school like uh, Western trick shooters. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, I really like this one. He's actually using his foot. Fancy. So then the last normal I want to show. Can you do the high one again? Oh, no, that was a sweet. That was complete opposite. Just fan, just yeah, fan in the hammer. Very very cool. Super so cool. the last normal I want to show is actually just directly back from the KX, and I'm super glad. The big boot's fat. Big boot. Ooh. Apparently and it has a crushing blow if you do it two times in a row, and it's an overhead. And so, so naturally you're going to do it. Yeah, naturally you're going to do it, and then they get knocked down, you walk back, you do it again. The quote here at work is, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. And then you can mix up with the slide. And I don't know how the community feels, but here internally we absolutely love the big boot. Yeah. And we always were happy in tournament when, when people, like, People playing like a, a patient footsies game. It's like very back and forth, very old, methodical. Then, nah, never mind. Screw that. Big, Big boot. boot. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go over special moves because they are, again, Fancy. pretty pretty different and, and pretty interesting. So his cow traps have gone, and instead he actually has a jar of reptiles acid that he can throw on the ground, which I just love the concept yep. of it. Uh, off his slide, he can actually amplify it and also throw the jar. That's cool. And lastly, he uses his rifle in rifle stance. So the idea is, he pulls out the rifle and he automatically is walking forward. I'm not hitting anything. He's walking you down. Yeah. Now from here, he can actually cancel it with block, but he actually has to put it away so there's recovery. He can do a normal attack, a or he can start shooting. Awesome. And they are super fun to do. The problem is, well, I guess good for the opponent. He only has eight shots. After that, He's he actually reload. has to reload. So you can't do that move, let off all eight shots, and then do it again. You right, he has to, to reload. reload. And he can choose whether he wants to reload just a couple of shots, mm -hmm. three shots. You can decide. And obviously, there's a, a lot of recovery. You can cut it short and put it back. And it remembers how many shots you have. Yeah, and it'll remember. Nice. It, it does. This is not something where like it's on a cooldown. Like He actually has to keep track in his head, and the opponent does. How many shots he has? So and, yeah, and, yeah, so do you. Right, and it's you can see it's very powerful and actually juggle them. So it's a, it's a great keep away tactic, but it's got you know the the eight shot limit. Sure. I love the fact. I mean, just the gunslinger mythos to me is it's super always cool. been super cool, and I'm really glad we the have the walking it. them down is such an awesome touch to me. You so know, and, and, and yeah. this is also you know uh, people who who 
there are people out there who get afraid of, of zony type things, but like right. he's walking towards you, he has to reload. There are choices he has to make to do this. Yeah, that's what I mean by he's not a traditional zoner. Right. Where a lot of the stuff, you know, you're going to be putting these out and then going into the stance, and the opponent's going to have to know, like, are you going to cancel it or actually commit to right. it? How many bolts does he have left? Is he going to then go into his 50 50? And he can do the slide, but, you know, he's in a lot of trouble if you block it. He's kind of a. A thinking man zoner. Yeah. Not to say traditional zoning is brain dead. I which, am a traditional zoner. Which is exactly what you just said. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go over his loadout. Cool. Yep. The first thing I gave him is actually a command grab. Oh. He can amplify it. That's really excessive. <laughs> and this is a actual command grab. It's not a hit. He can actually. He has tick throws. Like, this one's great. So off of one of his main mid-range moves, he can actually tick throw you. And if the opponent's trying to mash out of it or jump out of it, you can go into the string. And then I gave him this low shot. It's not actually a low, it's a mid, but he, you know, shoots the ground. And to me, this is great as a keep-out tool to just get distance. Like, you can see... He will go all the way back, and then he can start kind of his keep-out game. Mm -hmm. It's a really, really good tool to just kind of keep them away. Like, if the opponent's trying to, like, Kano's trying to do his command grab or any of his pressure, you can just go back. And that also complements, you know, he gets in when he wants and he can go for his command grab mix ups, but when he wants to get out, he can get out of dodge. Yep. Skip town. He also has some really incredible uh, gear. Oh, yeah. I don't want to give too much away again. His hats are all amazing. He has an eye mask. Like, some characters from the past. Yes. So let's go into his Fatal Blow because it's awesome. Yeah. I, you know, We've seen pieces of it in right. trailers, yeah. But the, the beginning of it's actually really powerful because it's actually a projectile. I love him catching the coin at the, the end. catch at the end. Yeah, I, I love all of the little trick shot type things we added to Aaron Black. I mean, there were some in the last one, too. He had to, he could throw the coins up last time to shoot, but he turned that into, obviously, his uh, fatal blow. But just all that sort of any oak Lee sort of uh, Bill Hickok type stuff is really cool. So with the fatal blow, a lot of them, we wanted to, to really be good in this game, and the intos, like the attacks that go into it, are often very, very strong. Like, mm -hmm. And you can see this one is great for beating zoning. Like, you can see, because it's a full screen projectile, if Kano throws a knife, he has armor, so he's going to absorb the knife and then get him. And it's very, very fast. The right downside on. is all the hits are high. So if the opponent ducks it, Aaron Black's going to be left open and is going to get his back blown out. Mm -hmm. But if he sees your movement and he's looking for it, it's literally like it's. we want the feeling like you're a quick draw guy. Like you're mm -hmm. literally sitting there waiting yeah. and then right. you moved. I'm a big fan of the modern costume. Mm -hmm. And I like a cape. Someday I want to like have context where in my normal everyday life I can wear a cape. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a tough go. All right, so, so I gave him this new move, the Nether Bast, Nether Beast Trap, which is actually the jaws of another beast that he's made into a bear trap. If Kano well, steps a into Nether this, Beast Trap, Nether Beast, right? Mm -hmm. And you can see he's put in a capture state, and the Amplify is really cool because he kicks it to him, so it becomes a low projectile that scoots across the ground, and this obviously. You can imagine how this complements kind of his rifle stance. Like, put it out here. Now the opponent can't walk forward. He can go into this, start unloading, and they're going to have to use, like, a teleport. Maybe Kano could jump in the air and do an air ball, and then right. Aaron Black could be ready and block it. It's a whole meta based on kind of slowing the pace of the mid-range with that Nether Beast trap, which it lasts for a long time. But it will so, break. Yeah, it will break eventually. Then I gave him Scud Shot. So this is a move where he goes into a quick draw stance, and here's how it works. This move is super, super cool. He will actually hold it and shoot a projectile. It's so good. And I'm doing this automatically. I'm holding three to hold it, and I can choose when to let it go. And at any point, he can also amplify it and then quick draw. So if you're standing here, let's say you have Nether Beast Trap out, and he's going to start to throw knives, I can actually hold this, and he doesn't know when I'm going to amplify it, let it go, or actually hold it down. It's a really, really cool move. A counter zoning. Yeah. I've never really seen counter zoning like that before. It's pretty neat. So that is Aaron Blatt.
Some other moves we didn't show, obviously. Yep. He's got some really interesting, really cool stuff we didn't show. How about we go into a, when we probably should show a fatality. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I not like oh, you can get bodied. Yeah, you think I win? I think you should. I hope I win. What what difficulty level did you put it on? On medium, for oh. default. <laughs> it's okay, you wasted the fatal blow. Don't worry, everyone. Don't worry. <laughs> Medium's not gonna beat Steve, everybody. You never know. That's true. You just washed up. That's true. This end of round's tremendous. Oh. <laughs> Oh, what if I lose? No, 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 that's on. Do you remember the end? I do. Yeah, that's <laughs> pretty gross. Oh, oh, man. Super cool.